so good morning. Hey, hello. So who are you and what are you doing? Uh, my name is uh, Robin Cox and uh, I'm a founder of a city network called Citinerary. And, and what is that? Um, it's a network of cities with um, like-minded citizens that um, portray their city. They tell about city life, city culture um, in their city. Um, so sharing all the insights on what's happening in their city. Okay, and, and how did you come up with the idea? Um, well, it actually started with uh, several insights on how travelers travel at the moment. How they very much uh, looking for consumption, but not really connecting with cities. Same as our changing uh, way of uh, living in a city, such as urban culture, is that you know we we change to living lived by events and not so much so much places anymore. So we're very much looking for uh, an experience. And um, and third of all, my for, for foremost love for for citizens and for cities and knowing, learning about how people move in their own cities came to uh, this network of, of cities, um, actually with the objective to actually show people how we actually live in our cities, not just what uh, mainly is percepted. Okay, and in which city are you living yourself? Um, based in Amsterdam for quite some years. Yeah, and uh, next to Amsterdam we're currently in six other cities. Okay, and, and, and how, how did you start? Um, actually, we started with uh, a slightly different concept. We started with a, a meetup service for travelers, so where um, travelers could, um, you know, drink a cup of coffee with uh, with a local to get some local insights. Um, and we uh, slightly shifted to creating content, more editorial content. So, um, you know, in that way, we can share um, a lot more insights to a wider audience at the same time instead of just having, uh, you know, one-on-one -on -one meetups. And did, you, and did you then also arrange a one-on-one -on -one meetups or was it just a concept phase? No, we d actually did and we still do. We still offer the service. Um, so people can still sign up for a meet and greet with one of our locals in, in whatever city we are. Um, that's something that still um, remains to exist, but it's just a the very difficult business model. So we also decided to focus more on, on content, which in effect is, uh, you know, the center point is knowledge. Um, so whether it's through online content or one-on-one um, -on -one meetups, it's it's it's, you know, it's a different driver, but with the same purpose. Okay, and so your uh, if I say it correct, it, 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 it's a website or platform where this uh, a locals share their experiences, their insights from different cities uh, uh, all over the world. Absolutely, absolutely, and um, yes, our main red thread is is people, so citizens. So our payoff as well is like a city made by people. So everything we talk about, whether it's neighborhoods or local hero portraits or the coffee culture in, in a particular city, we always try to involve the citizens to have a say in, in how certain trends or cultures are evolving. Okay, and you're talking about we, so who was we? Yes, so it's we, I mean, uh, it's, it's still me. <laughs> and um, it's still me uh, running it, uh, so um, from my own company. Uh, I say we because it's it, 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 it's also like a psychological thing because I think it's a very collective people brand we're trying to create here. Um, and with uh, five to ten people in each city, we are around like, uh, we'll say, 40 to 50 correspondents um, in seven cities. So it feels like a, a city family, actually, of people. And uh, you say uh, uh, that you also have your own business. So you're doing this besides your uh, current business or is this, or is this your full-time project? Um, this is, I mean, I would say this is my full-time project, but um, since we're still looking to ways activating certain business models, I just need to uh, find different ways to uh, get, uh, get food on the, on the plate. So I'm doing a lot of marketing projects uh, on the side. Okay, cool. And at what way did you, uh, because uh, you, uh, you started uh, uh, by yourself, uh, 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 I guess, uh, as, as, uh, as the first ambassador, uh, but how did you arrange the, 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 the second and the, the third and fourth ambassadors uh, when you started your, your idea? Yeah, I mean, um, I mean it proves how, uh, how effective social media is and also how, in what kind of global village we're, we're, we're living in the first place. Um, so, like half of the cities we have now, I just, uh, I just managed to, to create through, through contacts that I already had. 
um, always via via. So no, I don't want, really want to work with, with friends in the first place, but always ask, do you know three other people that um, might be interested in becoming, uh, you know, a city captain for their city? Um, and then the other three or four cities have really come through enthusiasm um, through different kinds of social media channels. And, and especially Instagram is something that shows to be very, uh, very strong. Um, and like Minneapolis is something that um, was made possible through Instagram. So uh, how? how? <laughs> well, people, people just respond on, on your initiative, on projects, on content you've created. Um, and um, well, she responded in such a way that saying that, uh, that she loved the way how we, uh, you know, from, from the angle we write and portray the city. And she was wondering whether she could do that for her own city, which was Minneapolis. So then uh, we followed up with, uh, with a Skype call, uh, a multiple more, and uh, a few months later we had Minneapolis on board. Okay, cool. And, and, and what's meant for them to, to join? Well, there, there are various reasons. I mean, uh, my aim is to, you know, to generate some income so I can also reward uh, the correspondence financially. But first and foremost, I think it's, it shows that we can build a network upon uh, enthusiasm and the love for your own city. I think each other city, even we, if we would generate income, would, would start on that base. Um, so itinerary is for them a, a place to, to vent, to show their love for their city. A lot of people want to have their own website or blog, but I don't have the means to it or don't know how to start. Um, why should I start my own website when I can be part of a, a bigger family of people? And um, secondly, it's a, it's a very good excuse to go out and explore your own city. Uh, it's a very good excuse to knock on doors. Um, I always tend to say, if you want to speak to the mayor of your city, well, you can use itinerary to knock on the door and uh, have a cup of coffee with the mayor and have an interview with him, um, you know, and, and tell his or her story. Yeah, cool. But it uh, also requires you to really build a really strong brand that people want to join, but also that people can use as an excuse to get in places where they couldn't uh, get in uh, before. So, at, at what way are you, are you building your brand, and also at what way are you uh, uh, arranging that people are yeah visiting your websites? Because it's, it's it's great to have great content, but how do you uh, how do people find your platform? Oh, absolutely. I think it's especially. Um, um, I think uh, you have to have a strong positioning. Um, you have to be clear on, on, on what you want to uh, contribute to the landscape. Um, I do have to say that I think the whole content battle is quite a challenge, um, especially uh, it's always the, the fact of are we um, answering a certain demand or need or, or are we creating one? And I think Satinera is creating the latter, the second one. Um, as you know, there are a lot of travel blogs out there that write about hotspots. Uh, about you know contributing to the consumption thinking of travelers, and and since we want to stay away from that, we make it ourselves a lot harder to convince people or show an added value of what we do. Um, from a brand point of view, I think you know with a good look and feel, a very well good navigating and well working uh, website, um, you know those are the cornerstones of of your concept. Um, building a network. Uh, some people t t t told me, asked me, why don't you just first start just in Amsterdam and see how that works? But I think the power of that concept lies in the network and in collaboration and exchanging um, the knowledge. So I think building a network of people and making sure you have quality of people on board driving your concept in their own city is something that, that builds the brand. Yeah. Um, and the uh, traffic one is, of course, more sales oriented. And that's something we're still uh, figuring out the best ways, the best tactics. Um, and I think um, I'm convinced that at one point we should also do something more offline. Think of events, think of poss possibly a magazine to show your brand in different channels than uh, you know, being stuck in the, uh, in the clutter of content online. Yeah, yeah, I think it's really strong to have also this very international community because people there really want to belong to this. Maybe you can also do also think about it. You maybe can when you are are uh, describing some some hotspots in the city that you can also uh, let's put a sticker on the on the door to really also make it visible that's that you are were here. Oh, absolutely. But the thing is that we we're not really covering hotspots. Um, so we're we're talking more about the people that create the city, um, and I think. The people, part of our story, should be the best spokesperson to to talk about the itinerary. 
Yeah. Um, and that's, um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a, like a mix of Humans of New York, which is something very, still very on the surface and very short. I mean, our content is more in depth and, and more long form. Um, and I also want, just want to be perceived more as the first brand around cities um, and not so much about as a, a travel blog or something. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, I really understand. And and, and you said, okay, uh, you're, you're still thinking about uh, uh, implementing some business models. So uh, what, uh, what models are you thinking about? Um, well, I mean, I, I, there are a few lined up. Um, as you say, traffic was, of course, an interesting business model, but you have to uh, first get there to be interesting. Um, you know, I think of branded content advertorials, the more traditional way on making money on online content. But I think I'm, I would be more excited in looking at ways in, in, in collaborating with, with brands that have um, a benefit of knowing more about certain cities. You know, you see like, you know, Mercedes smart cars, you know, looking into ways, talking about mobility about their own cities. Uh, you have Axo Nobel, um, you know, with a paint background, but they're looking into how we can upgrade neighborhoods. Uh, those are very interesting ways to see, you know, how we could partner up. Um, but first and foremost, interesting business model I'm, I'm exploring at the moment is how we can be a, a content agency um, with the entire network for publishers like in-flight magazines or hotels or tourist boards. Yeah, so then, then, then you make also the contacts with the locals uh, and, and in the end uh, you, uh, you share the revenues of the article. Yes, or um, int introduce a loyalty program so people can earn travel points and uh, we make them travel and explore further. And, and do you think that that will also change the, 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 the motivation why people join uh, uh, your, your movement? Oh, I think so, absolutely. And I think um, uh, correspondents now are very hand-picked. It's not an open sign-up uh, because we feel like we need to have some sort of quality control. Um, and I think an ambassador should really be an ambassador. And that's just somebody who writes once in a six month. Um, and I do think that will change the uh, will will change um, uh, will change the perception for correspondents if they know they can uh, you know earn a buck on the side. But I think it's an incentive which is uh, worthwhile to take, and uh, uh, I think that's part of this whole people management project actually. Yeah, yeah, sure about that, and and maybe also like uh, Airbnb would also be a really interesting partner, I guess. Uh, uh, because they're really yeah, uh, also about people in, in the cities. They're also maybe mostly active in cities. Absolutely. So, uh, I, I used to, uh, a few years ago, I talked to them, but it came a bit too early because uh, by then I just, I just uh, was present in Amsterdam. So maybe it's uh, you know, more interesting now. Yeah, cool. And, and, and at, at what way do you decide to enter a new city? Uh, are the people contacting you like uh, uh, in, 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 in the US? Or are you really starting uh, and thinking about, okay, I want to, to start in, 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 uh, in, let's say, Copenhagen, and then you can find people in your network? Yeah, I think it goes both ways. I think I love to be surprised. Um, my, my personal dream is still to, to have a city um, as part of our roster. Um, who nobody have, has heard of before, uh, and you know, through pe through their people, through what we do, uh, you know, city market their city actually. Um, some, some, some it's like a bottom up city marketing what we do in some way, and um, I would love just to uh, pick a random city. And I, I, yeah, I mean, we don't have Berlin, we don't have London, we don't have Paris, and that that's for a reason, because I think every city has a challenge, um, and I think that's. Um, the main reason why we pick our cities, it has certain challenges in perception and we would like to contribute to change that perception. For example, Amsterdam, a lot of people think we smoke up every weekend and you know, go to the Retta district. That's not how we live our cities. Um, Bucharest is still perceived as an uh, ex-communist uh, part of my friend shithole, but you know, there's so much beautiful things going on and being part of that evolution is beautiful. And Minneapolis is like a city that's never on the top five on uh, U.S. cities, but still is, has a lot of uh, development going on and love enthusiasm. And it's those locals that convince me with their enthusiasm to uh, take that city on board. And like when I was the director of Airbnb or maybe Transavia, uh, who's also flying to many cities, uh, uh, what would your pitch uh, would be to me uh, about to convince me about the uh, unique added value of your, uh, of your websites? 
Oh, well, from a content point of view, I think uh, it, it's, it's about giving a different perspective and taking a reader more on a more in-depth, lower level of culture and lifestyle. And um, whenever you travel or um, has, have lived abroad, it's not about places. It's not about particularly food you've been eating, but it's about the people you've met. Because the social context gives you that sense of direction, belonging, and acceptance. And I think through our content, we give people that feeling with a reason to meet them as well. Okay, cool. And, and, and let's say, uh, looking to the future, let's say in, in, in five years, uh, where are you then? Um, I would love to, be, in five years, I would love to be perceived as, as the first or the brand around cities. Um, a, a thought leader on, on cities, whether it's from urban planning, mobility, to food culture and fashion. Um, and um, have a network of, say, 20 to 30 cities. Um, have that city promoted nobody has ever heard of before. Um, yeah, and have a, have a people, healthy people brand with enthusiastic citizens, um, you know, staying in the loop in their cities. And I think it should be online, and then definitely we should have offline events like dinners or, I don't know, expat meetups, have a beautiful magazine uh, launched biannually. Um, yeah, and, and probably a lot of cool side projects in helping others uh, exploring cities. Okay, cool. So wish you good luck with that, and uh, thanks for the interview. Thank you very much, Mulan. Bye-bye.